Hello my gorgeous and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to do a very quick demo and review video for the Wishful Cleansing Butter. This is what the outer packaging looks like and when you open it, this is what the cleansing balm looks like. And I also picked up the Wishful Yogo Enzyme Scrub as well. I have tried this one like as a sample from Sephora and I really like it so I picked up the full size. So yeah, I just thought I will film my first impression video. So I'm just back from work. I'm quickly gonna change and then we will jump into the video. So if you guys are interested to know my thoughts about these two products, please keep watching. All right guys, so I'm just in my PJs and now I'm just going to put my hair up because you need your hair away from the face. I need to remove my earring as well because as soon as I'm home, I just don't feel like wearing anything. Um, Alright, the first thing we're going to do is hygiene. I'm just going to wash my hands. I actually don't have the box because I just got rid of the box and um, I feel it will probably be the similar way how you apply the cleanser on your face. But I'm just going to go on Sephora's website just to check their instructions, so how to use it. And it says scoop a dime sized amount and use fingertips to apply to your face. Massage gently to dissolve makeup dirt. Rinse with warm water or wet cloth. Follow with your normal cleansing and skincare routine, okay? So it's pretty much the same, so I would just want to double check. Alright, so as I shown you guys earlier, this is what the cleanser look like. The only thing I don't like is it does not come with a spatula. Um, and you know, when you have nails and all that, it can go into your nails and you know, you have to clean your nails afterwards. So I do have another spatula, but it's in the other room. So one here, this is the one who comes with um, Tatcha lip balm. So I'm just going to use this one to scoop out some of the product. Um, this is the oh, it's very creamy, I would say. Um, I don't know if that much will be enough. So, if I scrape it in front of you guys, look, oh, I like that. Um, this is the first time I'm using, so I have no idea how much it's supposed to use. So, I'm just taking that much. Oh, it like dissolves very quickly, like oil. All right. The lipstick I'm wearing today, it's actually from Maybelline and that's their super stain lipstick. And it's very hard to remove. Sorry, I'm just doing it talking at the same time. It's very hard to remove, so it will be good to know if it will completely remove this lipstick. Okay. Um, so far, I actually don't mind this cleanser. Okay, I'm just going gently over my eyes. Like so, this is how my face is looking. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take just a cloth and I'm just going to wet this. And I'm just going to put it on my face. And I normally dab it on my face. Alright, and now I'm going to go ahead and just gently going to remove any mascara. Yeah, just make sure like you're very gentle around your eyes. Alright, so the makeup is almost off. Normally I'll use another cleanser, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same cleanser as double cleansing and then we'll see like how good it is removing all the makeup and all that so I'm just going to scoop out 
maybe that much and again it dissolves like it melts into your hands like I'm very really surprised because I have not used that many cleansers but because I normally like facial oils but um, the, I have used one from Clinic and I was not a fan of that because it irritated my eyes and that one doesn't dissolve like that quickly either on your hands or on your skin it will take a little bit of time and probably because the consistency of that one it's a little different all right after massaging into my face so i don't think i have any makeup left apart from maybe a little bit of mascara so i'm just going gently over my eyelashes and under my eyes I actually should be using my ring finger. Alright, so now I'm just going to wash my face. So I'll probably move the camera a little. I don't know if you will be able to see me or not, but we'll see. Alright guys, so this is what my face looks like after using the cleanser twice. Uh, I just used the same cleanser, like twice so and I'll show you guys this is how much product I used because I normally use makeup cleanser and then a face wash afterwards but because I was wanted to see how good it is removing your makeup if you use if you will use it as a double cleanser as well like the same cleanser I'm um, sorry I think I'm saying cleanser like so many times it's kind of annoying um, but yeah, so this is how much product I have used. Uh, it's 100 grams, so yeah, I think it will, it will last you quite some time. All right, so before using this one, what I, want, what I actually want to do is, um, I'm just going to use a gentle toner to tone my face to see if there is any makeup left on my face. So, all right, so I'm just taking the cotton pad and the toner I'm using is from Lancome and I'm going to apply it on my cotton pad so we're just gonna use toner alright guys so there is like hardly anything left on my face. Um, these little fluff, it's my towels are new. Even I have washed it three, four times. It's still like you get a little bit of fluff from the towel. But um, as you can see, there is hardly anything. There's a, like a little bit, maybe dirt, but there's hardly any makeup on this cotton pad. So, which is actually really good. Because some of the cleanser, even like if you will double cleanse with the same cleanser, there will be still a lot of makeup left on your face. So like it does have, I mean like there is makeup just like, but only a tiny bit. All right. All right. So this is what my face looked like after using the Wishful Cleansing Butter. And now I'm going to use Wishful scrub so i'll just come close so maybe we will be able to see difference afterwards so this is my skin after cleansing and after toning and now we're going to go ahead and use this scrub okay i don't know if you have to use it like on your wet skin or not okay let's have a look i'm like I should have done my research before filming this video, um, but oh well. It says clean dry skin, apply a generous amount. But I'm just going to wash my hands again. Okay, let's do this. Alrighty, 
So how much is enough? I'm just taking that much, okay, rubbing on my fingers and applying it all over my face. Okay, I don't know if I need to apply a little bit more, but I think that's enough. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera, so I'm just like checking the mirror because I'm in my bathroom, as you can probably tell. You know how when it first launched, they were like advertising, I probably have to go post the same because um, the product is like building up and then coming off. Like when it first launched, they were like, oh, it removed dead skin, this and that. And yeah, it does remove dead skin. But as you can see, this is not dead skin. It's actually the product coming off. I probably should have used a little bit more because yeah it's pretty much off. I don't know. Uh, I will probably take a little bit more because maybe it was not enough for my whole face. So I'm just taking that much. I'll just clean the floor afterwards anyway because this way you know I'm probably able to see my face properly. Okay, I think it's been a minute or so, so I'm just going to wash my face now. Alright, so this is what my face looked like after the scrub. Um, looking in the mirror, I feel like my skin has a glow. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but um, in person, I can see that uh, there is a little bit of glow to my skin. So what I'll do is I'll put before and after on the screen um, so that you know we can see if it's a thing. Um, and yeah, I probably have to do update and review on this one because on their Instagram page they have like before and after pictures of people using it this for like four to eight weeks and their skin texture improved. So I have to see that. I probably have to use twice a week. Um, if I remember, I'll try to. I'll actually put this outside so I'll remember to use it twice a week for a month or so and then I can probably do a updated review on this or I can just like do my favorite video or something like that. Um, and I do like the cleanser as well. The only thing is, as I mentioned before, it does not have spatula, which is really, really annoying. But if you have another spatula which comes with more normal creams or like uh, lip balms you can use those so as a first impression i like both of them all right my gorgeous so that's all for today's video i hope it was helpful um and i hope you guys liked it if you did please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already all of my social media links are in the description bar my instagram snapchat come say hi i would love to talk to you guys and until then i will see you guys in my next video Please stay safe, stay happy. Bye-bye.